Hello, welcome back to another video from WatcherPress. This is Valerie. Today we are going to cover Gutenberg Live Hacks and I'll show you how to work WordPress content blogs more efficiently. The tutorial will be divided into two parts. In the first part, I'll take you through the Gutenberg interface to help you improve your workflows. And in the second part, we'll get into WordPress blogs. So keep on watching if you want to learn some extra tweaks and smoothen up your editing experience. But before we get too far, make sure you're subscribed if you haven't done this yet. And also don't forget to hit the notification bell. Let's start with the notion. Gutenberg, alternatively known as the WordPress block editor, is the default editor that all WordPress sites use unless you've specifically disabled it. The WordPress block editor is the new paradigm in WordPress site building aimed to revolutionize the entire posting experience, exactly in the same way Gutenberg did with book printing. Gutenberg offers a more visual design background. You no longer need to use short codes to embed content you get a unified block system for it. Now that you know a bit about the Gutenberg block editor, let's get a sense of where everything is and how to find Gutenberg block related features and options. When you open the editor, it will hide the WordPress dashboard sidebar and give you a full screen experience. The WordPress block editor interface can be divided into five general sections. The top toolbar, the main content area, the contextual toolbar, the sidebar, and the status bar. The content uh, takes up most of the screen. Uh, the editing content area here looks almost the same as uh, what it, it will look like on the site. Gutenberg's top toolbar is located at the top of the screen and contains a handful of options. It helps you to insert uh, new blocks. The Tools button allows you to control what happens when you click on the block with your mouse, and you can either start editing the chosen block or you may simply select the block for bug editing. The left arrow undoes the previous action and the right arrow repeats the action that was just undone. And by the way, you can use keyboard shortcuts to perform the undo, redo actions. And not only these actions, by the way. After the undo and redo buttons, we see a details icon. This pop-up will give you an overview of your content, such as how many words, uh, you have written how many paragraphs uh, there are and how many blocks you have used and even displays time to read. In addition, you will see a document outline if your document uh, contains at least one heading. Moreover, you can access other useful tools like the list view. It's a visual representation of the parent slash child slash grandchild relationship of the Gutenberg blocks. I found it particularly handy when I need to find a specific block that's embedded inside other block. There is also an option I can hear, and there are two important sections, view and editor. The view section is all about your preferred layout. While writing and editing, you can choose where to position the block toolbar. I suggest you explore all the options. Uh, if you don't like uh, how the formatting tool floats above a block, uh, the block editor lets you pin it below the, tool, uh, the top toolbar. A spotlight mode highlights the block you're working on. Full screen mode hides the left uh, sidebar, uh, this site navigation area. So you can uh, select none, one or multiple combinations, of course, and of course, uh, you can change your selection at any time. The editor section lets you edit the entire post or page visually. 
or with code. It's perfectly fine to just stay with the visual editor, which displays the content accurately in terms of size and colors. But if you're more on the adventurous side, you can switch to the code editor and change things there. Remember, the editor section is for the entire post or page. And if you want to view the code for one block only, there is an option for that in the toolbar called Edit as HTML. The settings gear offers you the choice of displaying or hiding the right sidebar. The gear toggles on and off. Uh, click once to display and click again to hide. Very simple. The sidebar contains two tabs. The post or page tab uh, provides options that relate to the entire post or page. While the block tab shows the settings for the block that you've selected. For example, let's go over the first tab. Uh, there are three access levels to choose from. Public means the page is accessible to everyone. Only admin or editor user roles can view the page with a private access level. Password protected. Only those who know the uh, password you create uh, will be able to view the page. In the same summary section, you can use the public option to select the date and time when you want to publish your post or page. The pages or posts with the checked pending approval mark will appear in the pending tab and your chief editors or admins will be able to quickly find the page to check it right before a publication. Uh, the URL link will be displayed in the permalink section of the sidebar. When the draft is already saved, you will be able to change its name in the menu. Note that the block editor will generate the URL automatically based on the title. When you write a post, you can assign it to any category, and if needed, uh, you can create a new category right as you edit the post. Uh, one post may belong to several categories at once. The text section is another way to group articles by feature. Use text to combine posts from different categories on one page. Just like categories, you may create new tags uh, right as you edit the current post. You can add as many tags as you need at once. Now let's talk about the expert. The expert text is displayed on the category page along with the title and feature image. By default, WordPress uses the first couple of paragraphs as a snippet, of course, depending on the length of the paragraph, but it cleans up its formatting and removes indentation between paragraphs. The expert allows you to specify a different summary for the formatted version of your intro. The field supports paragraphs and HTML tags. Finally, use the discussion section of the Gutenberg sidebar to allow comments. You may also pin backs and track backs, uh, but we recommend uh, turning this option off. It's important to mention the number of options in the first tab will vary depending on whether you're creating a post or a page. Moreover, plugins that uh, add new functionality to the WordPress block editor will also uh, present their options here in the first tab. Coming back to the top toolbar, if you have used WordPress in the past, you will be familiar with the next three buttons. Save draft, preview, and publish. These allow you to save your changes, see how your content would look when published, and actually publish your content. And once your content is published, save draft will become switched to draft, and publish will be replaced by update. And if you made a mistake and want to roll your content back to an earlier version, you can use the revisions feature. Here is what the revisions interface looks like. 
The last element of the WordPress block editor that we will note in this video is the status bar. Located at the very bottom of the page, the status bar is used to show you where your currently selected block is located within your document. This can be extremely uh, helpful if your page or post has a complex layout with many block groups nested inside one another. Clicking on the WordPress logo will take you out of Gutenberg and back into the WordPress backend. Depending on what you were creating, you will end up in the all posts or all pages. Always be careful, clicking on the WordPress logo icon will lose any unsaved changes, so make sure that you have saved or updated your content before navigating away from Gutenberg. So now you know your way around Gutenberg's interface and you are one step closer to creating fine looking content with minimal effort. We recommend going through the second part of our tutorial on blocks to get a better idea of the possibilities afforded by them. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to leave your feedback in the comments. And hurry up to watch the whole tutorial till the end. See you there.